In the last video, I created a background and environment for our Hoppy Beaver game, including animated grass and floating sticks. In this video, I'm going to explain how collisions will be handled when the beaver touches a stick. At the moment, nothing happens. So we have a beaver hopping, and we have sticks displaying. We just need to bring the two together. We want to know whenever our beaver manages to get right over a stick so that we can count that as a successful stick grab. That means we just need to do a basic collision check of the two objects. There's a lot of places we could program this functionality since it deals with two objects, as a global function, as a method on the stick object, or as a method on the beaver object. I'm just gonna stick this on the beaver object for now. So beaver.prototype dot some method name, let's call it check for stick grab equals function. In fact, I'm going to copy this name, it's so long. <laughs> In that function, we're first going to need a condition that checks uh, if the beaver and stick collided and return true and false otherwise if it does not collide. So we could make this complex and strict based on the location of the beaver's hand, for example, but let's just stay basic for now. They can collide if the stick's center X position is between the two sides of the beaver, and if the stick's center Y position is between the top and bottom of the beaver. We're gonna kind of think of it like if the stick's box hits the beaver's box, there's a, there is a collision. So, I'm going to add a condition here. I'm going to work off uh, stick.x. So if stick.x is greater or equal to this.x uh, this and stick.x is less than or equal to, this is the right side, so this.x plus the width of the beaver, 40. Oops and stick is not defined. That's right. So I need to just to quickly define it. Oop, I have a dash. I mean a slash. So the stick here is going to be defined as an argument which I will pass an object in later. You will see that in a moment. And notice uh, I am checking if the stick.x is greater or equal to this.x. Uh, I'm not worried about the upper left hand corner and how images and rectangles are displayed. Although rectangles are going to be displayed by the center, by their center, so the Y position is not their upper left hand corner, it's all positioned by the center. That makes it a little bit easier for our calculations. And so I'm also gonna add two more conditions. I'm gonna check if stick.y is greater or equal to this.y and stick dot y is less than or equal to the bottom of the beaver so the feet this would be like this dot y plus 40 or the height of the beaver and so we have a condition that actually checks now so we need to do something with it we need to remove the stick that we touch off the screen just remove it so there's a simple way we could do that by just setting the stick dot y equal to negative 400 that moves it off the screen completely and at the same time, we can uh, int like make this dot sticks uh, equal to one whenever we touch one. This dot sticks is a predefined property up here. It's equal to zero. That will keep score. And then finally, we need to call this new method check for stick grab in uh, the appropriate place. That would probably be, be best at sticks. Nope, not sticks. This is a beaver method so beaver dot check for stick grab here that would be a good place but what is oh no saying fill is not a function are you sure oh okay there we go <laughs> cannot read property x of undefined hmm well it happened when I called this function so it has to do with this function uh-huh notice we have to pass in some kind of parameter so that it actually contains an x and y property. Onos is actually telling us that. We don't have an object with an x property. So, quickly, make one. So in here I'm gonna just give it one, sticks i. 
and 6i is its own object. If you go here and check, stick has an x and y property. So when we do this, when we do that, oh yeah, the beaver collides and removes the sticks off the screen. Very nice. In the next video, I'm going to add a scoring system that actually makes use of the beaver's this.sticks count. So I'll see you then.